Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are going to be playing Raiders of the North Sea, and we are going to do the campaign, and it's going to be so good. I'm so excited. I've literally been holding up. I'm adjusting my microphone because I think I might have just burned some people's ears out. Um, so let's try this. Uh, I found that in my video yesterday. No one could hear me. Um, so now I'm going to try turning it up and see what happens. Hopefully this is better. I hope it is for everyone's sake. So anyway, um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the campaign. I have, so as I was saying, I've been holding out on doing the campaign just so I could do uh, a type of let's play. And we're finally going to get started tonight. Um, so I have not touched the campaign. I have no idea what's in store for us. Um, this is unique to the digital version, right? So if you if you have a physical copy of the game, which I don't have uh, handy or on me, um, there, there there isn't a campaign, right? It's a multiplayer game to be played at the tabletop. But this um, Direwolf Digital went and created this this little campaign. Um, and so we're going to dive into that. Congratulations on making your leap to Raider. Build your crew and raid the nearby harbors. Okay, special rules. Harbor spaces are worth three victory points each time you raid them. The only settlements that can be raided are harbors. If there's only one harbor space remaining, the end game is triggered. Okay, so this is all about finding... So it's just about being efficient. We're playing against one player. Get three points for raiding a harbor. Um, everything is the same. It takes a black or a gray worker. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we get to go first. So we're definitely going to. What does this click on this guy do? Oh, it's just a reminder of the special conditions. Um, all right, so let's, what's the best way to do this? And there's no, oh, there is some Valkyrie. There is some Valkyrie. Okay. So I'm going to go. Let's do this. Hire one crew immediately for only two silver. We'll hire her. So now we'll get extra provisions. Now we can go to the barracks and go to the mill next turn. We'll get the extra victory point when raiding harbors. He hasn't hired anyone yet. Okay, so we got this. I think this is pretty, pretty beginner, pretty easy, easy peasy. Actually, um, I'm thinking about going to the gatehouse to hire more workers. Or hire more guys in my army and get more provisions ahead of time. I have time since he hasn't hired anybody yet. I don't think I need armor. There's really no need for armor. So, hey, Lady Box, welcome. Welcome. 
Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We are playing Raiders of the North Sea tonight. It is a worker placement game, and it is phenomenal. Here to learn and observe. Awesome. Well, we're playing our first mission of the campaign. And we are... Are we going to raid? I think we're going to raid. Yeah, we're going to raid because he can go raiding. So I will begin to explain it in uno momento. There's a lot of Valkyrie over there. I don't want to go there. Looks like I have to go here. And I should get an extra point for my for this guy. No? Doesn't he give me an extra point? I guess not. Okay. So how does this game work? It's a worker placement game. So you place a worker and you take the action. And then you pick up a worker and you take the action. Pretty straight. Oh, it did give me the extra point. Okay, I have four points. Good. Right. Ta gain one victory point in raiding a harbor. Okay, good. Um, so right now I have a gray worker. Uh, gray workers let you go pretty much everywhere down here. Some places you can only go with a black worker, um, like the mill, the barracks, the town hall. See, the armory, it has this little gray slash white. Same thing over here with the longhouse. It takes a gray or a white worker to go there. Um, so when you take your turn, in fact, I think we're going to take another turn right now. Yep. Uh, you place the worker you have, and then you pick one up. So anytime you go down here in the village, you place a worker, and then you pick one up. Uh, when you go raiding, you do the same thing, but there's a worker already here. So you, you place a worker, which I'm going to do here, and then I'm going to pick up this gray one. And I'm going to get a livestock and two irons for it and three points. Goal being, or am I shooting too far? The goal is to have the most victory points at the end of the game which is these yellow victory points in this game are symbolized by the yellow the red is armor although that doesn't look like that is really coming into play this game um so i need to hire someone else into my army yeah i want three guys in my army shoot All right, so we're going to go to the longhouse. Uh, you need a gray or a white worker to go here. And you can do a couple of different things. You can buy uh, more victory points. So this one takes a livestock, an iron, and a gold. And we happen to have enough of that. So we're going to go here. And we're going to buy this for five victory points. And we're going to... Take three provisions. We're going to take some provisions. And notice it says gray worker. See, I have the gray one. It says you get provision two provisions when you take the gray. So that's why I got those provisions. Um, he has three guys in his army. So he's going to go raiding real soon. I... I need to hire one more guy. I'm going to go to the barracks. Hire this guy. Because I don't have enough money to hire him. Shoot. <laughs> At least me being in a more learning mode will keep down the Ladybox Thief Sass for a stream. If only for a stream, Ladybox. If only for one stream. So the barracks is where you hire more guys in your army. And it tells you how many guys you need You need to go raiding. So this harbor, I need three people in my army. One, two, three. And it takes one provision. I have three. Uh, this harbor takes only two um, guys in my army. But it takes two provisions. 
So the reason why I'm not going here yet is you see these black skulls? These black skulls are called Valkyrie. And whenever you go raiding and there's a Valkyrie present, you have to kill off someone in your army, which means they need to be replaced. And I don't want to replace them just yet. I'm trying to be efficient. Um, I cannot do anything if I go here. So what do I do? I guess I will, I'll just get some more provisions. I like this game already just because it has Valkyries. It has Valkyries and we will eventually get them. We will eventually get them. We're not going to have any choice. But right now, I want to avoid them as much as possible. So the good news is we are destroying our poor computer AI opponent. Uh, but that is because this is the first chapter of the campaign, so it's probably super easy. Holy crap, how did he get so many provisions? I kind of wish I could see the replay on that. Um, okay, so what's next? So we're going to go... If I go here, I'll only lose one. And I have three guys in my army, so if I lose one, I'll still have two. And I can raid here again. And then it'll probably wipe me out. But that's okay. We're going to go here. We're going to go for the one that only has one Valkyrie. And now I have to kill somebody off. Um, you may take an additional action at the Longhouse. That's pretty good. We're going to get a lot of points there. One of my favorite board games, Shem Phillips is amazing. Sin Narc, thank you for joining us. You are just in time for chapter one of the campaign. Um, which is actually going to be over pretty soon because it's really short, <laughs> apparently. Um, so I already have a physical copy of this game, so I was already pretty familiar with it. It looks like the campaign might be designed um, for someone who maybe hasn't played and to kind of ease them in. Uh, whereas I've already played this game against the AI and online um, against people. So where do I want to go? I kind of want to get the gold and the double Valkyrie before he does. So I'm just going to kill off my whole army. Goodbye. But that's okay, because Valkyrie does score you points at the end of the game too. Um, so one of the things you can't see, um, you can't see unless you click down here. He is still hiring, guys. If you click down here, you have your armor. So these gray things are my armor. They would turn red um, if I had any. So see how Ymir, I don't know how you pronounce that, Ymir, uh, has two, uh, two armor contributing to his strength. Um, and you can increase your armor down at the armory. You can also get Valkyrie, and for every Valkyrie you get, you get points. So this is plus one, this is plus two. Uh, it says plus one because it's one on top of the one I already have. Um, and then I would get two more for another one, and then three more for another one. And basically, if you were to fill all of these, you'd get like 15 points. Um, we're not going to fill them all. Um, and we are going to let Ymir... Um, go after that last harbor. We are going to start to maximize points down here. So we are going to start doing that by... what's the most, I can take two actions when I go to the... No, I can't because I killed him off. I can't take two actions at the longhouse. Crap. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Alright, four more points. 
Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna focus on focus on getting more points here. Ooh, I can get that five too. Alright, let's get let's get Can I get a point for just one armor? No, it takes two. Or three. So I could do it with two coins. I don't think I want to do that. Undo. I'm going to take this gray worker just so he can't pick it up for the provisions. So he'll have to place it down there if he wants one. He's probably just going to go raiding. No! He went to the gatehouse. Interesting choice. Well, you know what? I can, uh, I can go here. I can go here. Turn in a card for two coins. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Undo. Undo. I do want to hire him. I think I do want to hire him. I'll get two points. See, uh, that benefit, gain two victory points at game's end, is only if he's in my army. So I think I want to try and hire him before the end of the game. So I guess I'll just... Drop him here, whatever. I don't care where he ends up. I want to get these points. Why can't I do that? Oh, I don't have enough cattle. I need two cattle. I only have one. That stinks. All right, we'll get those three points. Come on, Ymir. Go, go raid. Go. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? You have five guys in your army. What? You, you, is, just gonna, is this game going to go on forever until I do it? I need you to know that I'm drinking your favorite decaf coffee. Oh, gosh, lady box. Come on, we've had this discussion. We've had this discussion. All right, so let's do this. Let's, um... There's no way to get two cattle unless I go raiding. That. And I need money. I need money. Take up to two silver from an opponent. Seriously, what is this guy doing? I'm kind of hoping he would end the game. Or is it going to make me... Is going to make me do it? Um, I can't go to the longhouse anymore. I can't go to the barracks. So I guess I'll do this. Take two silver from an opponent. I'll do this. And then next turn I can hire someone from the barracks. No, 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 no! I clicked the wrong freaking button. Oh well. Okay, I think it's seriously not gonna- I think it, it- It is literally not gonna do anything until I actually win the game. Like, until I actually go and- What the heck? Yeah, I clicked the wrong button and spent those silver. That was dumb. Okay, so this episode just got a little longer than I intended it to. Um, but that's okay. What do these things do at the town hall? If killed in a raid, no. No big deal. No big deal. Seriously, he's just gonna keep hiring guys and replacing guys in his army. All right, well, you're getting to see the game in action, right? The whole point of this, this video and this tutorial series, which I'm gonna be doing, yes, I'm gonna be doing a series and putting it up on YouTube, um, is to expose you to the game, and so, make no mistake, you are getting exposed to the game. So, put the gray worker down here, grab two coins, I'm gonna take this guy from the barracks and hire him. 
Yes, I am going to be creating separate videos for each one of these campaign missions and putting them on YouTube! I am branching out. I am branching out into the social medias. That's a thing, right? <laughs> now I really gotta tamp down on the sass. No. No, I need to undo that because I don't have enough money. Um, go to the gatehouse, whatever. No, I can just, I can just ban you. Or silence you, or... Or I can remove your mod status. You won't be the best mod if I take it away. Uh, because it's fun, and I get a rise out of you. All right, let's hire let's hire someone and get out of here. And then we'll go do our last raid. Um, game three, jeez. Then I'll just use my copious amounts of war bucks to be mod for a day and fix it all. That's true, you could do that. I do have that reward out there. Alright. Alright, this computer is terrible. Let's go. Oh, I have to go to this one. Oh, I have two guys in my army. And I'm going to kill them both. So I'm not even going to get the bonus points. Alright, last turn. So this is typical of the normal game, except instead of it being when the last harbor uh, has been taken, or, or uh, there's only one harbor left, it's when there's one more fortress left. So normally in this game you'll have harbors, you'll have outposts, you'll have monasteries, and then you'll have fortresses. Um, and it's harder to raid them as you go farther and farther north on the map, right? So normally there's other stuff here to raid, right? You've got your harbors, your outposts, your monasteries, um, and then your fortresses. So last turn is really not a whole lot I can do, except uh, I guess I'll just burn two cards for a gold. Because that's a point. And then I'll take this, which I can't, are you kidding me? I, what don't I have enough of? I have no money. I have no money. I should have gone to the silversmith. Uh, I guess I will go. This won't do anything for me. Whatever. A glorious victory! The plunder you've brought to the village has earned you a place of honor. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I don't think that's how Vikings talked. Um, okay, we smashed him. We, 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 we smashed him. Uh, he literally raided two places. That's gotta be what the six points are for. For Valhalla, as an expert on Vikings... Minnesota Vikings, but um Okay, we did a thing. Cool. All right. So, so that's it. That's it for for the first chapter. Um, that was really really short. So we're actually gonna play a second chapter. Um, but I'm gonna have a brief break in the stream just so I can chop this up into two videos for YouTube so I can have chapter one and chapter two. So don't go away. I'm actually going to just put the um, put the little title screen back up and we'll be back in probably 30 seconds. Thanks.